Audi. Joining the Formula 1 racer and the Dune Duster on the list of LEGO Technic racers, we have the Road Rally 5 slash Supercard, aka set 8225. With the latter name in mind, it's not hard to guess what the primary model is, is it? Like almost every single Technic model I own, this go-kart looks really nice. The vibrant yellow and the decals give it that strong racing vibe that's needed. This is also one of the beginner sized models to come with a driver slash pilot figure. This particular Lego man, dressed in black, was often included with the racing models. The go-kart shares the same features as the other racers, but there's more to this than just being able to steer and roll. It's the first one I reviewed that uses a group of pieces that, when assembled, resembles an actual engine block. The most obvious clue is the cylinder head here, but if I take it apart a little bit, you've even got a little piston. Through a series of gears and axles, when you roll the rear wheels, the piston moves up and down, as you'd expect it to. Some of the larger models use more than one of these. The transformation is... oh wait, wrong video. The primary model can be motorised with set 8720. Ironically, this requires you to remove the actual engine block. But it doesn't get in the way of the driver so he can roll out with the new motor in place. The second model is a gyrocopter. You can tell because of all the crazy design elements. It borrows three wheels from the go-kart, uses its engine to power the rotor right down to the piston, and it lacks any tubing that would create the illusion of a windshield frame, much less a control panel. To me, with its bare structure, this is to gyrocopters what the right flyer was to the biplanes. Maybe it's used for test flights or something. This isn't to say I hate the gyrocopter. I think it's quite funky actually. But if these models are supposed to be realistic, it just seems a little impractical to me. But hey, what do I know? I'm not a pilot. A lot of the Technic sets I have are pretty cool. This one is no exception. I like both models for different reasons, but if you're not a fan of oddball vehicles like this one, leave it as a go-kart. Maybe this was a turning point where the designers were starting to get really creative with these models. After all, certain sets of the late 90s would prove this to be true.